Welcome to Dr. Ethan Schramm, physician, medical oncologist from the Martin O'Neill Cancer Center, who's joining me today to cover all of the brand new data released over the last several months at the major oncology conferences, NCCN, AACR, and ASCO. Thank you for inviting me, Dr. Westgate. meta-analysis analyzing the accuracy and applicability of blood-based MSEDs that were presented at ASCO and AACR. And Dr. Schramm, as a primary care provider, for me, when I see a meta-analysis, that makes me think, whoa, lots of studies put together, large N number, this is going to be a real value in regards to me as a clinician and what that means you know, in my day-to-day -day work. Can you talk a little bit about these meta-analysis and maybe some of the caution or hesitancy in regards to these results? So there was um, one presented at ASCO and one presented at AACR, one with 10 studies, one um, grouping 12 studies in aggregate. The takeaway is that there was a good correlation of the combined sensitivity and specificity of these tests with the high area under the curve. These studies were a suggestion that um, we're getting good concordance across studies. Um, if you look at them in aggregate, the false positive rates can be as high as 2.5%, and the false negative rate can be uh, around 44%. Now, that might seem alarming, but if you compare these to the false positive rate for, let's say, mammogram, which is around 10%, and Cologuard, which you may have heard about, um, which is around 10%, the 2.5% actually stands out as, as, as quite good. Looking at false negative rates, the mammogram false negative rates, believe it or not, are around 20%. Cologuard's around 8%. And the false negative rate for these tests um, in all stages, all stages, let me remind you, is about 44%. So just to recap again, Dr. Schramm, in regards to what you were saying from this chapter. So from this meta-analysis data, are you saying that the different assays are comparable with each other regarding sensitivity and specificity? And how would this translate into practice for our primary care audience? Well, what I would say is this, that there appears to be general concordance across the studies. But uh, as you point out, um, you, we need to be careful interpreting meta-analyses because there could be heterogeneous populations in each of the studies that um, make up the meta-analysis. And so the fact that um, they are all arriving at similar numbers is, is hypothesis generating and suggests we are onto something and that with improvement, we can get a screening study, a multi-cancer screening study that can be useful. But I wouldn't say that um, these meta-analyses uh, are validating. I, I think they are reaffirming that we have a signal, so to speak, and, and that we should continue to pursue this. 